friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are going to talk about global goal number three, good health and well-being. Sing it, Gregory. Good health and well-being. And here to talk about it with us is Broadway actor, Andrew Barth Feldman. Thank you for being here, Thank Andrew. Thank you so much for having Yay. me, Anika. Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, so young man, uh, when you were 16, you won that's, the, yeah. 16, you won the Jimmy Awards, which is basically, it's like the Tonys for high school kids all across the country. If there's a one-to-one -one line to be drawn, yes. yeah, that's the and line. And we must. <laughs> and then you start on Broadway in Dear Evan Hansen. Um, you're on TV in High School Musical, the musical, the series, so many colons in that title. Many, it's fun. Many, many dots. Um, you've created and performed in so many projects that are on the internet or social media, and therefore I don't understand them. <laughs> but like one of them was Ratatouille on TikTok, yeah. which caught fire yeah that was wild and also you have been really candid and open about your struggles with OCD and anxiety and even really interestingly about how doing Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway actually sort of helped you to figure it out hugely so yeah I was really lucky like you said I was 16 when I started in Dear Evan Hansen mm -hmm. so to be in that kind of space in that building in that show where so much of the conversation was around mental health and mental health disorders. It right. was immediately kind of normalized for me yeah. in a way that, that I, I didn't know how much I needed and, and uh. gave me the space to keep talking about it now and have this platform to talk about it. So global goal number three. Good health and well-being. Andrew, what exactly is the goal of this goal? It is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages. Sing it, Gregory. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages. Over the last 15 years, the number of childhood deaths has been cut in half, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. This proves that it's possible to win the fight against almost every disease, but still it also means we're spending an astonishing amount of money and resources on treating illnesses that are surprisingly easy to prevent, while at the same time there's a skyrocketing of child deaths related to mental illness. Yeah. Um, so the new goal for worldwide good health promotes healthy lifestyles, preventive measures, and modern efficient health care for everyone. Yes. And of course, good health and well-being isn't just about our bodies, but about our minds and destigmatizing the common struggles folks have with mental health as a part of wellness support and understanding. So please tell everyone, where are we right now? And what yeah. does that have to do with good health and well-being? We are at the offices of the Entertainment Community Fund, yeah. which is the greatest. They're formerly mm -hmm. the Actors Fund and they're is to support a life in the arts. Yes. They changed their name uh, recently because they don't only help actors, they help anyone who works right. in or near a theater, makes a living in the arts, crew, creatives, front of house staffs. Mm -hmm. Again, not just in theater, but in dance, opera, film, and TV, and not just in New York, but all over the everywhere. country. Yes. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they support in so many ways by, by helping people with career guidance, emergency financial assistance, affordable housing. They have homes for seniors, and a critical yeah. factor in good health is, is having that safe, secure, and affordable housing. Yeah. They give millions and millions of dollars during the pandemic to yep. people who were out of work yep. and saved so many actors' livelihoods and, they and sure people did. in the arts' it's livelihoods. Yep. So a really significant way that the ECF helps people in the entertainment community is with their health care. Mm -hmm. They provide so many resources. They have a, a health center for the performing arts in Times Square. Mm -hmm. They have a women's health initiative and an HIV initiative. Uh, and they provide mental health care. Uh, yes. They offer assessments, counseling, referrals, support groups, education. And very critically, mm -hmm. they provide financial assistance for that mental health care because that's yes. often the hugest barrier for folks in our industry taking care of themselves. And such a stressful part of being in this business where basically everybody is, of course, a freelancer, yeah. is trying to keep your health insurance. <laughs> They have a department of lovely, kind, and knowledgeable people who will help you always navigate the scariness and complexity of, of health insurance in uh, our industry. So thank you, thank you to the Entertainment Community Fund. I want to say thank you to you. Now, globally, if we widen the lens out from the entertainment community, some of the targets of goal number three are... The targets! To reduce maternal mortality and end all preventable deaths under five years of age. And the epidemics of communicable diseases like AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. Promote mental health and prevent and treat substance abuse. 
ensure universal access to reproductive health care, family planning, and education. Yes, achieve universal health coverage. Support research, development, and universal access to affordable vaccines and medicines. Increase health financing and support the health workforce in developing countries. And improve early warning systems for global health risks. Yeah, these are big, like massive targets, Could you imagine right? if we did all that stuff? It would be <laughs> like, so great. Tomorrow, let's oh, get no, on it tomorrow. What are we doing sitting here? I know. You and me, let's universal run. healthcare. <laughs> um, okay, so people are probably wondering what they can actually possibly do about any of this. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that we can feel helpless and powerless, but you are not powerless. There is always something that you can be doing, something that is manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Of course, you can always find a goal three charity uh, like the ECF and make a donation, big or small. Did you know that charitywatch.org is a great place to, you knew that? I've heard about it. Ah. Everybody else needs to know. And please vaccinate yourself and your kids. Yes. You can protect your family while aiding public health. Yes. Put yourself on the organ and tissue donors registry. Donate your blood. Yes. It saves lives and probably mm -hmm. there's a shortage of blood right in your own community. Mm -hmm. And that's when you can just keep doing over and over. You got a ton of blood. And of course, always stay informed and vote. Oh my God, please vote. Vote, 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 vote. Alrighty. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. The clock starts now. What rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. I feel like it's Daddy Warbucks. Yeah. Okay. The arc lands us there. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> what is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Something more uh, casual for my stomach, I think, probably. All right, like what? A pretzel. Maybe some Half pretzels. Pretzel? A, a one pretzel. One pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Sleep is really big. Mm. Meditation, mm. loving kindness meditation, mm. uh, like breathing, journaling. Mm. Those are all really big practices for me. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Oh my God, Sis. Sis, who is my, my lovely friend and trans activist and incredible performer. She would be the greatest high school drama teacher of all time. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Yeah, it's terrible everywhere else. Exactly. <laughs> it's great here. What's the worst survival job you ever had? Of being in high school, I guess. <laughs> you never had one? <laughs> you came right out of school <laughs> yeah. into the Broadway stage. Yeah. <laughs> Since a revival of a show is basically reusing, recycling, repurposing it, so it's super good for the planet, what show would you want to recycle to star in? You know, the I'd like to do The Wedding Singer one day. <laughs> Oh, I'd I would like love to do that. a city center wedding singer yes. one week. <laughs> Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid, go. Under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Okay, with great. Full <laughs> with full vibrato. I played, I played Sebastian when I was like 11 and it was, I'll say, a showstopper. Yeah, did you have that vibrato then? I think exactly like that in that yeah, kind of register that... <laughs> too. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, <laughs> cockroaches, or red spotted lanternflies? Cockroaches. I'm pro rat. Well, That's after fair. Ratatouille, I see the rats. I say, I don't know which one of you is a great chef. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you for having me, Anika. Thank you for watching, you guys. My friends, if you are ever feeling down or scared about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. With more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all do the next right thing, and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.